when I first got into gaming, and I don't mean game, like, hold on. When I first started playing World of Warcraft, I was 23 years old, and I got addicted and obsessed, and I stopped paying bills. My marriage was on the rocks, and I was gaining weight at mock speed. And, like, it was a mess. It was an absolute mess. Some of this will sound familiar when I say I got really deep into it for, I'll say a month. I mean, bad. It was bad. And I thought, you know, if I just buy another computer, I can get Annie to play with me. And then it's quality time. It wasn't a great idea. Because we got in this big fight about the fact that all I was doing was playing this game at 23 years old. I have a job, but if I wasn't at that job, I was sitting in the seat and I was playing this game. Sleep was a myth at that point. And if I was at work, I was thinking about that game. I was pretty deep. So I bought a second computer and I thought, you know what? I'll take the hit. If I buy the second computer and she plays with me, she'll try it. She'll get hooked. It'll be great. This did not work. It caused a bigger fight. She stormed off. She took a nap, calmed down. She came back out and she was like, I'll try it. Well, she tried it, wasn't really digging it, but she was trying. One week, I take a vacation from work so I can play the game. I took an entire week off, which means that Friday, when I get done with work, I throw on my onesie, which I mean is a onesie with the feet and everything. It's the most unflattering clothing you could possibly wear this giant onesie with the feet. I throw on that onesie and I sit in my seat. And from Friday afternoon, I have nine days of pure enjoyment, face in screen, Cheeto dust, just absolute fiasco. I have nine days of pleasure ahead of me. That was my goal. Like, I just want to play. Leave me alone. Let me play. So I sit down and I play and I can't even tell you like, it was, it was bad. I, I slept some nights like at the desk, you know? The week goes by. And I want to say it was Sunday, Sunday morning, I'm sitting there and, I, and there's crumbs everywhere. There's empty cans. There's Cheetos dust, Doritos dust, burritos dust, Fritos dust disgusting abs like i have war paint of like chips you know just because i have to keep things smooth if i let go of this mouse or this keyboard people die so i'm in the middle of what we call a dungeon where it's me and four other people strangers we're trying to complete this dungeon and there's no pause, really. You got to kind of go. And if you stop for too long, people will just leave. And then it'll take you another hour to find more people. It's a, it's a big thing. So I'm sitting there and I'm playing. And the role that I play, because I was terrible, had me sweating most of the time. I mean, like, because <laughs> uh, 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 I was a tank. Like, keep, keep all that attention on me. I'll take all the big hits. You guys kill everybody. That was my job. So a lot of times I'm just sweating all over the keyboard. It, I was disgusting. I'm sitting there in the middle of this dungeon. And we're running and gunning. We're moving and grooving. It's going really well. And I, I'm not kidding when I say I'm smashing these keys and I'm moving this mouse. And like I can feel the sweat. And I feel like a warrior. Like a real life warrior. Like I wish people could see me in my glory. <sighs> We're almost there to the final boss. And like, this is my onesie. I'm like, ah, whew. like we're getting in there. I'm trying to air it out. Whew. In the middle of the final boss of this dungeon, which we had struggled with quite a bit. And Annie goes, she's behind me. She's on the other computer. She's behind me. She goes, ah, oh, ah. Oh. 
did you fart? And I'm like, ah, no. It was almost one of those like, huh, kind of moments for her. Like she had to step away. And I didn't know what the hell she was talking about. I'm in the zone, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm a tank. I'm crushing this. We killed the boss. And I went, yeah. And that waft of air came out of the onesie. And that's when it hit me that I'd been sitting in this thing, festering in my own stew for nine days. Nine days. And that, <laughs> that, that was a moment for us. Like that was a thing that happened. That was uh, a turning point for me. Um, it was, it was pretty epic. I will remember that day as being the day that we killed that boss. I will not necessarily remember the point that I had been sitting like Roscoe Aju with this funk just permeating and filling the room when I, yeah, it was pretty ugly. See, it's stories like that that I should probably say, do I want to tell this story? But no, that one was clear. That was a green light. Yeah, tell that all day. Like, they respect you a little bit. Let's let's do away with that. Yeah, 